we are starting with the first chapter of science for class 9th and the chapter is matter in our surrounding I am sure you have downloaded the notes of this chapter from the website and those who have not downloaded yet, they can go to the website. The link is given in the description of this video. You can download the notes. You will also find the worksheets to practice and these notes, these worksheets can be printed. So you can take a printout and practice. So let us start with the definition first. What exactly is matter? Very simple definition. Anything that occupies space and has mass. Anything that occupies space and has mass is termed as matter. Let us take some examples. Can we call air as matter? It has to fit into our definition. It has to occupy space. It has to have some mass. So a simple experiment can be done. Suppose we take a balloon which is not inflated and we start to blow air into it. So all that air which is blown inside occupies the space and the balloon gets inflated. You can perform a very simple experiment also. You can take a small uh, rod kind of a thing, tie it with a thread, ma make it like a balance. And on one side put non-inflated balloon and on the other side just tie the inflated balloon. You can find out that inflated balloon is going to be heavier than the non-inflated one. This proves that air occupies the space inside that balloon and has mass also. So that means air is matter. Same thing can be done with water and because water can be seen easily, so it is very easy to understand. You take a glass and fill half of the glass with water. So the water has taken that space inside the glass and you can easily, uh, you know, identify or differentiate between the weight of the empty glass and the glass which is filled with water. It is heavier. Solids like a block of wood. This also has some mass and it is occupying that space. That means anything that occupies a space. Our chairs, the furniture, the pen, the blackboard, whiteboard, anything. It has its weight, it has its mass and occupy space. That means our definition which is anything which has mass and occupy space is matter. So whatever we see around us is basically matter. Sometimes we don't see it like air. We cannot see the particles of the air. Our philosophers, ancient Indian philosophers have termed or they have said that the matter is basically made up of five different types of particles. Is made up of five different types of elements we can say. And these elements are termed as panchatattva. And what are these five elements? And they are saying that anything, living or non-living, is made up of these five things. So there is air. They have written it as vayu. This is one. Then there is water. It is written as jal. So basically what they are trying to say is every matter which we see, Everything that we see around us, living or non-living, they are made up of these five elements. 
then there is fire it is written as agni sky written as akash and the fifth one is earth written as dharti and they say that everything every matter is made up of all these so all living or non living things are made up of these five elements and this panchatatva word is very very important greek philosophers also agreed with this they also concluded the same thing so whatever our indian philosophers said the same information same conclusion was drawn by the greek philosophers also they also concluded the same thing but modern scientists are classifying the matter on the basis of the physical properties and chemical properties so according to modern scientists matter is classified on the basis of number 1 the physical properties physical properties means how the mat how the particles are what kind of energy they possess how do they move or not these are going to be the physical properties and second the matter can be classified on the basis of the chemical properties of the particles so this is the classification which is given in our science books so now when we study matter we will be following the classification which is given by the modern scientists that means we will study matter on the basis of the physical properties of the particles which the matter is made up of and then the chemical properties in this particular chapter we will be talking about only the physical properties like what are those physical properties and how we can identify different types of matters on those physical properties but one thing which we have to understand is this initial or ancient description of matter which was which was given by our uh, philosophers indian philosophers it matches with the description given by many other scientists and philosophers and all of them believe that everything living or non living is made up of same five elements and again confirming the definition is anything that occupies space and has mass and we can perform very simple experiments to understand what is matter so basically whatever we see around ourselves is matter because that thing is occupying some space and that thing has some mass or weight so this is our definition these are the different elements according to our ancient indian philosophers and greek philosophers and this is how the modern scientists are going to classify matter